Hi, my name is Mike. This session shows how to write a TML ZDX chat server script with Python. TML modules are imported for communication. To simplify the script, profile and listener binding are declared as global constants. The main function enters a waiting loop that can be terminated with Ctrl X or Ctrl C. There is nothing else to do in the loop. All functionality will be provided by callback functions, as I will show in the video. For this example I'm using a client-server model. The server distributes the messages to the connected clients. I will show how to write the client script in another video session. The clients are started on one machine with different ports to demonstrate how to use the chat. A click on the connect button informs the server of a new chat group member. The clients already connected to the group are informed about a new member. Now I can write a message in the text box and send it to all chat members using the send button. To enable network communication with TML, a TML core object needs to be added to the application. The core object is a wrapper around the TML core handle used by the API functions. Receiving messages requires the listener to be bound to an interface, address and port. The listener enabled property controls the status of the listener. In the main function, before entering the infinite loop, I add a TML core object and assign the listener binding with host name and port. To start the listener, true has to be assigned to the listener enabled property. Let's see if I get some errors if I test the script. Everything is working and the listener is started, but I need a profile to receive messages now. Receiving messages with TML requires a profile to be added to the core. Multiple profiles can be implemented. All available profiles can be accessed by the profiles property. The profiles property provides an interface similar to a Python list. To ensure proper initialization, use the addProfile method to add a new profile. The new profile is returned by this method. The profile provides all methods and functions to send and receive commands, events and streams. Callback functions can be assigned to handle profile-related events. The profile needs a unique string to identify the interface. To create such string, I'm using my URL and extend it for my application. To add a profile, I call the addProfile method of the TML core profiles property. To inform clients about a new member in the chat group, I want to write a handler function that is called if a new client registers or unregisters as an event consumer. The handler function needs to match the interface of the onRegister event consumer callback. The profile object, the binding and true and false for subscription or unsubscription are passed to the handler function. To inform other clients, I'm creating a new command object and distribute it as an event with the ID 2002. Connected clients can receive and process this event. The data property of the command contains a ZDEX document and I add the binding and the status of the subscription to it. Before I send the event, I remove an unsubscribing client from the event receivers to make sure it does not receive the event.
Finally, I just send the event using the path profile object. The event function needs to be registered at the profile by assigning it to the onRegister event consumer property. To test my new function, I start the server script and two clients. If I push the connect button on the clients, I can see my callback function in action. Another function of the server is the distribution of messages a client is passing to it. I want to implement a command that receives the messages from the client. The profiles register command function is used to add a handler to process incoming commands with a specific ID. The handler function has to match the on command call interface. The profile and the incoming command is passed to the handler function. I read the binding of the sender and the message from the data property of the command and print it. To distribute the information, I need to create another command with the ID 2001 to be sent as an event to all connected clients. The sender binding and its message have to be added to the event's data. The profile object passed to the handler can be used to send the event. Before the new function can be called, it needs to be registered at the profile with the register command function. Testing the message function requires again the server script to be started and at least two clients. After connecting the clients I can send messages from one to the other. Okay, that's it. Our chat server script is ready. Thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you again on tmlsoftware.com.